finally takes an American on his team to have a chance to win something. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Where's Will, hey? You guys want to do a goodbye interview with Will? Hi, I'm Will. So Lake. Ross Harold, a fairly productive night at the plate, a triple, a home run, and a single. Uh, I have to ask you, are you a little upset with Sammy Forbes running the game before you had a shot at the cycle? <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. I didn't get three innings like that. But it's more than we expected, for sure. Uh, no, and it's awesome when Sam can get up there and hit him up. It's great. So he's the legend, man. He is the legend indeed. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys came into this game uh, certainly known for your hitting, but you made a hell of a statement here, uh, opening things up with a big 12 nothing win. Yeah, it was like we were uh, had some bent up frustration waiting for that game to finish before. And, uh, yeah, no, we were just waiting for that game so long to finish. And, Standing there excited, ready to roll, and I'm glad he's uh, showing on the field as we've come into the early, so just what we wanted. You had two quick outs in the first inning, and then uh, Brian Teeter seemed to set the stage uh, with that double, and then the floodgates open from there. Yeah, uh, usually our top two guys, Jody and uh, Eats, uh, at least probably 80% of the time, one of the two of them are on to get it going, but today they didn't, and luckily with two outs, everybody got ahead of after them. Yeah, all with two outs indeed. Uh, tell me about Craig de Belleville. He seems to recover fully from uh, that injury last year at the snapper shootout, a uh, one hitter. That's okay. Ends up here tonight over four innings, uh, moving the ball around, up and down. Looked like he was on his game tonight. Yeah, um, and he actually had a small groin injury a couple weeks ago, so he hasn't actually thrown uh, too much the last couple weeks. But very good snap. Um, threw really hard tonight. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can keep it going. We got that line back, line and a shot back. I don't know if it's kind of running, but he uh, was all right after you guys, that. Anyways. You guys seem to be on a, on a bit of a mission to make a statement here that uh, that you belong amongst the uh, the elite group of teams and should be considered as uh, as title contenders. Um, you've got a big game tomorrow against CPI. Uh, any thoughts on, uh, on who's going to get the ball tomorrow? Uh, ooh, that's Rick's call. <laughs> we just knew the starting pitcher today, that's about it. Um, no, any any of the next three, I mean, I'm sure it won't be Greg starting again, but uh, we have three more that are ready to go. Um, any one of the three, Jeremy, Todd, or uh, Vito. So anybody could get the ball anytime, and yeah, everybody's and got confidence in everybody. Yeah, and we do have the second game tomorrow, so um, I'm not sure. Whatever Rick does, uh, we'll be fine with us. All right, Ross Harold, uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, I, David, I go ahead. Yeah. Can I ask who does your nails? Oh, the nail polish. If people don't know, uh, Ross Harold has a uh, red, great job, Ross. Woo! Blue uh, fingernail polish on his fingers. So I'm not sure what that is. Do your toes match? Um, toes are done too. Yeah. Uh, my daughter Emma, her. Uh, my team ended off the year last weekend, so they uh, painted up their coach's nails before the first game. So, so I thought I'd keep it on because it matches our colors too, so we're good to go. That's good enough. <laughs> That's a good story anyway. You keep coming. You stick That's to the it. truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. That's awesome. Thanks for having me in here. All right, Ross Harrell, congratulations on a big win for the Bridgeport Braves to kick off their Tournament of Champions. Uh, they're going to be back on Ballpark Radio tomorrow afternoon facing the CPI squad. Uh, opportunity for uh, some revenge against CPI, knocking out uh, Bridgeport out of the, uh, the tournament a couple of years ago back when it was in Kitchener. And uh, you'll be able to hear that one right here on Ballpark Radio. Ross, anybody you want to say hi to back at home? Uh, yeah, just my daughter Emma, my family, my girlfriend Carolyn, everybody listening. And uh, hope there's somebody else in here for Bridgeport tomorrow after the game because it'll mean uh, another victory. All right, Ross Harold, congratulations again. Uh, Rick Floyd uh, hi, Rick. Is, is waving frantically, knowing that he doesn't want to talk whatsoever. But, uh, I just maybe. listen. He asked me who the starting pitcher tomorrow was, but I. We just want to know, does it take an American to try to win this tournament? <laughs> if you can't beat them, you sign them. <laughs> okay, beer time. All right, more time for Ross. Harold. Ross, thanks again for joining us here, and uh, good thanks, luck guys. tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. All right, cheers. Ross.